Hello, I'm Warren Fay. I'm a folklorist and performer. Dance music in the bush was always popular. People played on little instruments like this. This is a concertina. This is an English concertina. There were two types of concertina. One of them had a different note on the push and pull of the button and was mainly used for dance music. Whereas this one has 48 keys. I've got too many fingers, I suspect. But 48 keys and was used for a song accompaniment, um, and you probably know it from the Sallies. The Salvation Army used to play these things when they moved into the bush. They wanted to use instruments that were familiar to bush folk, so they picked up on this. We had a factory. This was made in England. This is a Lacanol concertina from England. The two major uh, manufacturers were Lacanol and Wheatstone, and they sent a lot of these concertinas to Australia. As you can imagine, instruments like a harmonica, a tin whistle, a jaw harp, or the button accordion or the concertina were light and the fiddle were light and transportable. So many of these found their way up into the bush because you couldn't take too many belongings with you. You certainly couldn't take a, you know, if you're a traveling bushman, a piano, but um, there were plenty of pianos out in the bush, I can assure you. The, um, we did have a factory in Bathurst a man called John Stanley, who advertised in the bulletin as the concertina doctor. He had worked at Lachnall in England and came out here, set up his concertina factory in Bathurst and manufactured the Stanley concertinas, which were uh, surprisingly loud. Um, the bush dance music was played to accompany set dances like the Alberts and the Lancers and there were polkas, there were waltzes and there were shotishes and uh, there were many other mazurkas and so forth but uh, the Bushmen created a particular sound for their bush music. They played it in wool sheds, they played it in men's huts, they played it in the pub. Uh, people would dance, they would do hornpipes solo dance, they would do couples dancing, and of course if there was a party on there may be you know, a couple of hundred people spinning around the dance floor of, of the wool shed and uh, the music would just play. There were no amplifiers, no PA systems, but somehow or other it worked. And this is the sort of music they played. 